Hello, podcasters. Finally Friday. It's time for you to grab your pod and cast it. Woo! Into the sea of weekend. Well, with this podcast, you can cast away, and then we'll be back on Monday. With this podcast, I the royally oh, wed. Oh, yeah, the royal weddings this it's, weekend. Oh, it's not my in gosh. the We talk about it, but it's not in you the didn't podcast. Put it in there? No, because by the time you guys get it, we just talked about where you can watch <laughs> so it. So it's Friday, obviously, when we send this out. It just depends on when you're actually listening to it. But I was checking out on a Saturday tomorrow. I'm going to go see a movie. Oh, man, I'm checked out right now. <laughs> and at our movie theater, they're showing for two hours. Hours, the royal wedding uh-huh. and it's like a hundred and something seats in this theater and they have about 15 that are taken so hi hudson yeah what are you doing in here hudson i feel real <laughs> awkward we're doing the podcast intro hudson's, hudson's in here he just walks Wait, in and walks are you around. supposed to be off today yeah you're not supposed a to half, be in it's a half day oh, oh. right 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 uh, okay i got so you so are you still gonna make the podcast today all right. Okay. Hudson Good job, is the Hudson. one that makes the podcast. So we better finish I'm this up I then. You just I'm come in. Yeah, well, Hudson well, will will make this work. Yeah, and don't forget, Hudson's going to be joining us this Thursday night. Yes, if you want to join our Radio U Riot, we're doing a live event on Facebook. We do special live shows that you can actually watch. That is Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern on both of our Radio U and our Radio U Riot Facebook pages. It's a game night. We're playing Ticket to Ride. Oh, so get your ticket and begin the riding. <laughs> Everybody has been so excited. Not like us. Like, we're excited, but... Every time we say Ticket to Ride, I get... People get excited. Usually about six or seven text messages are like, oh my gosh! <laughs> She's not lying, guys. That's the tone, People too. People are excited. Well, we're excited, <laughs> we're excited about we it, too. We're excited about it, too. We cannot wait to play on Thursday. So we look forward to doing that. We uh, Today in the podcast, we talk a lot, actually. Like We, we, talked, we had a day. We, had, we did. We like Some of these talk breaks are like almost six minutes long. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they are. Like, well, we, we just... I feel like there's a happiness. It's Friday. Even Must now, like it. we're talking a lot. This, like right right, now. this intro is gone forever. It's gone on That's forever. It. It's fine. It's just All long. Right. So here's the stuff we got happening. We talk about the studio temperature. We got details on the new Black Ops 4 stuff. They dropped for Call of Duty. Uh, mac and cheese pizza. How the riot ruins. Actually, there's like a theme of us ruining things that kind of runs through Including this show. Including swimming pools. Maybe even... Always our eighty-five million dollar condo deal we've been working on. My maternity shoot I'm thinking about. Lots of stuff. That's great. Oh, real life changing stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you guys enjoy the podcast and um, have a really good day. Yeah, what Nikki said. You guys do that. Bye bye. Bye. Recycling paper is like planting a tree. Recycling the riot is like burning down the rainforest. <laughs> Be no fire, not the day. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Nikki, what do you think is if if it were up to you? Yeah. What would be the temperature in the studio right now? Um, if cost was not uh, it's a not, factor in this, it's not. And I know you don't mind it colder. I'd probably say this is just for you. Y'all want you to forget for about me. me. Let's get maybe, focused on you. Let's go sixty nine to seventy, maybe okay. sixty eight on days when it's a little. A little hotter outside. So hotter it is outside, make it even colder in here. Yeah, because I like when you feel the difference. Yeah. (laughs) I like when you know you're inside. Yeah, come on. So I'd probably say 68 to 70. I keep mine at home, 71. Yeah. 70, something like that. It really just depends. What about you? What what are you doing at home? 70. Okay. I talked to somebody the other, I mean, I guess it's been a little while ago, but they keep theirs at 75. And I just think they're a monster. Well, I have a nest, so it gives you these green leaves if you're in a optimal zone. Yeah. Like, they feel like you picked a temperature that's good enough. It's good for them. I don't know how to get there, because it's like, oh, 77, there you go. It's too hot. I saw a thing where somebody was like, yeah, keep your uh, the thermostat in your house between 77 and 78 degrees. And I was like, why don't we just move outside? <laughs> because that's pretty much where we're at. I mean, come on. <laughs> I would like to have it colder, and I don't mind paying for it. See, again, that right there. We've talked about this before, guys, but this is where I'm at. What The whole reason, why even have a job? Like, I have a job so I can have it cold. That's what I want. I want it cold. So I can have it cold, and my food can stay cold. That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, and then I want hot water and cold air. Sure. That's what, that is, you're like, well, what motivates you? Boom. <laughs> there it is. That's his drive right what, there. Why do you do what you do? Cold air. 
Hot water. Well, I told Obi when I walked in the food, I the guess. Radio U Studios, the building, like it's hot. It feels really hot in the lobby. Yeah. And so I went ahead and, and did a preemptive turn down of the temperature in the studio. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I appreciate it. And I turned the fan on just to get some circulation. (laughs) Get a little something going. I can't leave the fan on when I'm talking with you guys. We have to turn it off. It's too loud, but I'm turning it back on in a moment. (laughs) Soon, Here's what's going to happen. Nikki's going to start Tiger Drive Legend. After (laughs) that, her hand's going to move over and turn the microphones off. And then in one, (laughs) it's all one motion, guys. It is, it is. She'll be reaching over and turning the fan over. Oh, it's just a nice breeze. Or we could really still install an overhead fan. I that feel would be like great. because I don't think that noise would bother you guys and we just get, you know, perfect. And then in the the winter time when it's colder, we can do it the other way and that will make it nicer in here too. All right. You know what? Uh I know that we're talking about getting some low profile mic arms. So, you know I what think they we need do? a high profile fan. You know what we do and <laughs> they do in Congress. They're like, "Hey, we passed this thing to fix the roads, but I also need money for staplers and the whatever." <laughs> they they earmark it or whatever. Yeah, the uh, rider. Right. They put yeah. a rider on the bill. So, what if we put a rider on that's like, "Hey, we're going to get these mic arms and what about an overhead yeah, ceiling fan?" Big overhead ceiling fan. I like that idea. We're gonna think about that. Because we also need a window like blinds and stuff, so we could just do a whole studio makeover. Okay, but I really oh. want. Can we get a faux tree? Yeah, faux I just tree. think something to add, uh, just a splash of color. The we can't handle a faux tree. Just a splash. <laughs> We're just gonna knock it over. All right, Tiger Drive. Here comes going the move. The fan. I'm Here going comes over. the move. I'm turning the fan on. When life is this good, you don't need a vacation. So get back to work. It's the riot on Radio U. And I would like to spin a yarn for you about a certain pizza buffet that went out of business very close to us. Now, Here's, I think they still have other locations, uh, they but do. at least they the do. ones that were near us closed down. Uh, here's what I want to do. I want to warn you about something, uh, and that is one of the last things you want is for Team Radio U to begin enjoying something you make. <laughs> Because, Why? Well, because I'll take you back to Free Steak Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's Gone. a long time ago. Hey, Nikki, how's our favorite Chinese restaurant doing? Now, that's not... It's unfortunate. I feel like we stick with maybe the, the non-larger like the, chains. The underdog? Yeah, the underdog for the lunch choices. And mm-hmm. then they just can't... Like, the, the Chinese restaurant we used to go to was never crowded no one was ever there i know but we went we tried we we stuck with it and we loved it and what happened it closes and goes away Mm -hmm. so when you see us walk in just come over and say if you guys could please just Just go somewhere else how about to our competitors Uh, just just leave and you'll know us when we come yeah it won't be hard (laughs) to spot us uh but you know this legendary tale of pizza involves a macaroni and cheese pizza that Nikki was able to request that they put on the buffet. You go in there, you'd start at the salad bar, and right when you got one of the salad bar, like, I would like a mac and cheese pizza, and they put it in. By the time you were done at the table, they brought you your own pizza. Mm-hmm. Mac and cheese pizza on the buffet! Nothing better than that. <laughs> Welcome to CeCe's! Oh, he said it. <laughs> it's fine. Like It's not wrong, but they're gone now. Well, I found another mac and cheese pizza, Nikki. It's down the road. Yeah, one of the... I'm conflicted about it because if you start to like it, that business is doomed. But I think it's probably their, like, monthly special, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's not here to stay anyways. Today's May 18th, Nikki. Gotta go. You have 13 days. days. (laughs) No, I... You know what? I haven't had mac and cheese pizza in forever. I don't know if I'll go. Because I don't know if I want to be disappointed because I'll have that taste again. Okay. And then I'll never have it. Well, you need to talk to Michael. We were there. He had it. And the first thing I thought, it was one of those moments where you're like, oh, I got to tell my friend about this. And then you think their response will be like, of course I know about it. I know (laughs) every time someone makes a mac and cheese pizza within within 100 miles of this studio, I know about it. So, and I used to love mac and cheese pizza, and I don't feel like it's as easy as just taking a pizza, uh, the crust, the crust, and just dumping mac and cheese on it. I feel like there's more to it. What if it was that simple? Well, I don't have an oven like a pizza oven, you have a convection oven at home. Well, yeah, you're right, I do. So, I mean. Honestly, I can make my own. We're tiny steps away from you making your own, or you know, lunch is coming. Sure, I, I can try it, that there. You ate lunch yesterday, and you'll probably have lunch again today. I'm planning on it. Mac and cheese pizza does sound good, doesn't it? What if it's back? Sounds bad. <laughs>
<laughs> like I'm having pizza and I made it worse. <laughs> Oh, you, you little pizza. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that is, what do you think? Oh, my goodness. Come here. <laughs> I want to stop right there. We thought about selling the worst of the riot, but let's be honest. No one is buying this stuff. Get it for free on the Radio U app. It's practically Christmas. Aww. I know it's not. Like, I know it's May. But if you just close your eyes for a moment. Let me tell you how it all ties in. Every November, I have something I do. Thanksgiving? Well, <laughs> no, yeah. Not that. Like, I mean, I there is that. I, I do Thanksgiving. I, I do Black Friday. Uh, I usually see, like, the first snowflakes. But there's this other thing I do every November. I play Call of Duty. Every November. You do? Every November I do. It's a holiday tradition. It is. It's it's a Thanksgiving miracle. And I I almost always enjoy it. I play through the campaign. I never play the multiplayer stuff. I just play the campaign and then I'm done with it. And that's it. And yesterday they had their big Call of Duty press, press conference. conference where they announced there would be no campaign. Oh, the part that so, you play. Guess the what? only part that you play. You know what that means? No Call of Duty this year. Yeah, well, for me. you should still try it. Just do the multiplayer. Well, here's what's interesting. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. They did have their big event yesterday in which they unveiled everything. And so there are going to be three main modes to Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which will be out in October instead of November. This, the system is falling apart. Uh, so they announced their, first off, there's just going to be straight up multiplayer. That's pretty normal. Then they announced their big new edition is Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. <laughs> so Blackout. And what is that part? Blackout is their battle royal mode. So think Fortnite, think PUBG, but Call of Duty. They say that it's the largest Call of Duty map they've ever created and you have to say it with that tone if you don't say it like that you're not saying it right so they're hoping you'll stop playing fortnite and play yeah, call move of over duty there. it's exactly what they're doing even though they talked about the removing of the um of the like the the non-multiplayer part mm-hmm. they've talked about that for a while why play for free when you can pay sixty dollars <laughs> to play Exactly that, That's your right? Duty. Sure. <laughs> it's your duty to give us sixty dollars and abandon the free to play game. <laughs> well so, you have until November, so hope they're hoping that you, you know, give up on Fortnite by then. Pinch your pennies. Uh the other thing that they unveiled is that in Call of Duty Black Ops four, there will not be one zombie mode. There will be three different zombie modes. And I was looking at the trailers for each of the modes last night and I know zombies is really popular. I played some zombies in was it Black Ops 3 that I played a bunch of zombies? Yeah, I think that was. Uh, and I had fun with it. Like, it was good. But, like, to me, I wasn't, like, I wasn't way into it. Sure. And I, but for some people, they are. are way into it. So, three different zombie modes. You get your Battle Royal mode. You get standard Call of Duty multiplayer. That's and you get stuff. no campaign. Okay. So, yeah. Yay. Yeah. Though there's a rumor floating that there's a remastered Modern Warfare 2 campaign that will release. And yes, I'll end up doing that. <laughs> you at least have something. Yeah. Oh, sorry throw, to hear about throw that. Throw a bone to those guys that don't want to <laughs> play online. I think you just need to go do it. I don't like competitive multiplayer shooters, But Nikki. you're going to have to I'm, move into that area. But I'm there to have fun, and that's mean. <laughs> Sure, the riot could start eating healthy, or they could continue living happy, enjoyable lives. The Riot on Radio U. You know, one of my primary concerns going into the summer months is to make sure that my dog is accommodated. (laughs) Meaning? Like, if I'm going to be lounging in my pool on some fantastic flotation device, how does my dog feel as he sits on the side of the pool watching me have all the fun? So what can we do to help? What if we bought for him a flotation device very similar to the one I'm on, only smaller, and then it will be perfect for some cutesy pictures? (laughs) I think that actually sounds wonderful. Are you talking like the, uh, the unicorn float or the pineapple or like all the big fun shapes well the company is called where did their name go fun boy they're a pool float company it's what they make and uh, i just sent you a link okay i'm gonna look at it i gotta log in pictures of it uh but it is literally um (laughs) 
made for Instagram. It's like, hey, it is. It's like, here's my big whatever, and then right next to me is my dog. If I'm going to be treated, why shouldn't my dog be treated? <laughs> why shouldn't they have now, all the fun, too? If you wanted to buy, like, oh, matching. really cute. Uh-huh. Come on. Nikki, what would you, don't look at the cost. Yeah. See, what would you pay for that? You tell me well, what you think it's worth. I know the floaty things can be expensive, especially if you're buying bigger names uh, okay. for it and not, like, the generic ones. Okay, and pause. Please. Literally pause. There's, there's name brands for everything, there right? There is. Like, oh, you're not buying one of those. Well, well, this is a blank. I wouldn't put my, I wouldn't dare set foot in that trash. I'm sure there's some quality difference between some of the levels, but yeah, you know how it is. There's always more expensive versions and then there's cheaper ones. Insane. I would probably not pay more than I would hope $50. Okay. And even I feel like that's. No, is that $50? If that $50 could guarantee me an entire season of pictures. Is that $50 for one? Probably for one. And then maybe that means it'd be like $25 for the doggy size one. The smaller one? Yeah, the floaties. So a grand total, you're feeling of $75. Yeah, I think that's a good amount. Am I need to go lower? Is Um, it lower? You know what? (laughs) Let's He's play. Let's that. play the game. Is it higher? Higher. For, am I looking at just the one? This is for the pair. The pair. Mm-hmm. Uh, but one, it's not pair shaped. One hundred dollars. Even if you are. One hundred dollars. No, okay. <laughs> More than that for the the mm-hmm. matching set. Okay. Matching set. Uh, They're made from paw resistant vinyl. Actually, that is important because <laughs> if your dog has nails, thanks, Nikki. Um, even if I have nails, Come you on. know, I could I Come can ruin on. it. Let's say one fifty. <laughs> Oh, oh Just no. Just a little bit more. 160? Nine. 169. Yay! 169. Oh, my, my. That's expensive. I love the internet because it makes me feel better about the things I've wasted money on. Sure. It's like, I want to get this. It's $10. Well, it's not 170 I feel good now. You know what's uh, the heart of the problem is, is we don't even have a pool to put these in. Oh, well. <laughs> so we have nothing to well, use these for. I was thinking maybe they could turn into, even though there's no pool, like my tanning bed. Sure. So I'm floating on my grass pool. In this little inflatable. It's just and, uh, hanging out. Now, if you want to buy the doggy floaty just on its own, they're charging $59 for that. Oh, yeah. It's totally worth it because dogs never panic when you put them on a floaty out in the middle of a pool. <laughs> they're going to have a wonderful time. They're just going to be so relaxed, laid back. And thankful. Oh, yeah. Very thankful. Absolutely. I think it's very cute, but I don't see my dogs going for that. Yeah. Well, especially my dog Snickers. He's a nervous dog, especially around water. <laughs> he has to wear a little life jacket. <laughs> it's like, well, you know what? I bought him this. I want to return it. Why do you want to return it? Well, uh, I put him out in the water. He had a heart attack. And I also, here's a bill. <laughs> Uh, we had to go. He scratched me a lot while I was trying to save him from his floaty. Well, yeah, well, this is my bill, but then here's his, <laughs> his bill because uh, he's recovering. But, uh, you know, it's expensive to keep him in the, the yeah. doggy hospital. And you said Paul resisted, but he managed to pop it. Yeah. So, you know, what, I, you know what? We can either do this now or I'll have my lawyer call you, like whichever <laughs> one you're thinking. Send your complaints regarding that worst of the riot moment to fire Obadiah at RadioU.com. Sometimes in life, and I know it's probably hard for you guys to understand because, you know, when you hear me talking, you're like, everybody be quiet. Obadiah's talking now. Uh, but I have some people in my life that are like, Obadiah's talking. Please stop. Stop him. Stop everything. I have to go now. Uh, I was having lunch with some friends yesterday, and uh, I was talking to one of my friends because I was thinking about getting a game for my Xbox, and I was asking him if he played it, and his wife was there, and she just turned to me and said, why don't you just get it? And, Who do we think that person was? And when she said that, I mean, I'm not saying that she slammed a door in my face, but I felt rebuffed, no, to be I sure. No, I wanted you and to. And I did not feel <laughs> affirmed. Sure. I did not feel appreciated. Sure, sure. And I felt like by talking that I was... I had become a nuisance. Okay. It was me who said that. And it's I not, didn't name any it's names. Not that. No I, names were mentioned. I felt like, well, maybe I was just too like, why don't you? Because it, it seemed like you were having a bigger problem than what would have been warranted for a ten dollar purchase. Well, which see, you're known for. Sometimes you'll overanalyze a lower amount of things. It's true. But when something's larger, you won't even worry about it. So I was just talking to uh, my friend and uh <laughs> I was asking him if he had ever played it. Sure. Um and, you know, that discussion got shut down real quick. 
It was just, just like, I wanted you to feel comfortable in buying it because I thought you would like it. And it's only ten dollars. I probably will like it. Yeah. So why don't you just buy it? Uh, well, you know. You've bought so many other things that Actually, are just random. Let me tell you something. This is real talk, me to you. Sure. Um, they have released several original Xbox games. I mean, we're talking games that are like 15, 16, 17 years old on the Xbox One. And I feel like someone threw the old Steam Switch again because there are these games that I'm I'm very much interested but in. But you never played. They play great on the Xbox One X. They look amazing. I mean, they're old, but they're so, for what they are, they look really good. Sure. And I'm just like, well, I'll, I want this one and this one. But again, this one, at $10, one, it's one. okay. It's not okay, Nikki. Unless you're like, I'm buying 500 of them. Well, maybe not that many, but, but I've I thought only there bought, was only five or six of them that they I've redid. only bought one. There are <laughs> there are three more that I would like to get. You're still but, in um, the window of okay. I am, but I, I need to hold back just a little bit. Because <laughs> it's soda. Because you know what? I spent, uh, I spent big on Mother's Day this year because I'm so good. Uh, and so, you know, you just got to, you got to, you got to rein it in a little okay. bit. I just, I didn't like seeing you being so concerned yeah. about $10. Okay. I mean, when I appreciate When I have seen that. you not concerned about other amounts for other games. For just other things. Yeah. Where you're just like. <laughs> I'm surprised you bought that. <laughs> not you your TV were... though. Your TV was an excellent that buy. That was a good my choice. My goodness, that was a good buy. That was a good choice. And you know what? I wrapped up the, I, I sold my other one. I delivered it yesterday sure. to them. So, like, I'm I'm almost caught all the way up on that one. If you buy something from Obi off uh, Facebook or Craigslist, he will deliver. Sometimes. <laughs> Just in this case. Sometimes. <laughs> I, I mean, I did that one, but, like, not all Once the time. Once you start with one, they'll find out. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah. Are you I that guy? I you deliver. Yeah. Can you bring that to New Jersey? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of warehouses. You just pull your car uh, yes, into this one. Right. You'll be fine. Worst of the riot, not enough. Not enough. Check the blog and all things riot at riot.radiou.com. Everywhere I go, people are trying to throw shade on the things that are important in life, especially in my life. About an hour ago, right here in this very studio, Nikki and I established two important things. Maybe the most important. Cold air and hot water. That's it. It's important to you. I sometimes think this, but like I live a life that is better than even think of Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar. They didn't have an air conditioner. The leaders and the the kings of the past. Yeah, you know, they could have people put to death. They had, you know, women everywhere, blah, 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 whatever. But do you know what I have? (laughs) I can actually I can do a lot of things. They can't like you just throw a switch. Lights everywhere. (laughs) Instead, they're like, I have all these slaves that I have to feed and clothe and whatever. And they come in and light the candles. And I'm like, oh, yeah, watch this. Google, turn the lights on. Duh! Like, I'm living, like, You're living on. a good life. And I've got that cold air. I can't tell Google to turn the cold air on, but that's just because I'm too cheap to buy the thing that would let me do that. But, okay? you know, you could if you but wanted could. to put in the I effort. I could do that. I mean, granted, I don't have to go to work and Julius Caesar's like, let's go kill the nations. But let's focus on what's important, Nikki. This doctor right here, Dr. Rachel Nazarian, she's a dermatologist, and she wants to let everybody know to lay off the baths. The baths? Stop taking baths. They're bad for your skin. If you're going to take one, 10 minutes tops. In a bath? What's wrong with that? Oh, because of, oh, so it's not just your face, but your whole skin Nikki, dries you it out? Is, it is stripping your skin oh, of the natural fine. oils Listen, that it needs. This is the roll of the dice I am willing to have. I know. I want to have a bath, even though I really want jets. I want to get one of those... Like, it looks like a hot tub, but it's inside. Mm-hmm. But I just, it's a lot of money. Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Yeah. But it's the home version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I would like that. And then I'd spend hours just in the bath. Honestly, I'm, okay, no, wait, wait, wait. Are if we talking jets. about a bathtub? I'm Because, I mean, you you build a house, didn't you? I'm I have a so- bath, but it has no jets in it. No jets? No jets. <sighs> Man, and I mean it's wrong. Talk and- about poverty. I- just living, <laughs> just living. Below? Why you might yeah, as well I know, I just know. be out in the dirt. I- <laughs> you might bad. as well. No, but I mean it's why bother. I'm otherwise I'm just sitting in water. So I just want the jets. Oh, it bothers me that you're belittling one of my favorite things to do. To do with you don't have jets, do you? No. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm even, just like I love- prepare the heated water. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you can't clap. You have to turn the knob. Well, that's for someone else to know that <laughs> I know. it's their turn to turn the knob. <laughs> it's like they've got that. Hey, why no, are you, I even why looked... are you clapping? Just oh, because? Just because no one's here to hear you. I even looked on Amazon, and you can buy, like, oh, the little bubble jet machines. Yeah, you and... put, like, a, what do you put, like, a, a mat a on mat, the floor or something like or that? Or they have the little thing you put in the water that looks like a propeller, but very poorly reviewed. <laughs> very poorly reviewed. I just want to get a jacuzzi. You should get a bath mat and just lay on it and let the bubbles uh, surround you. Because it won't do anything else. It's just a very low amount. Well, what is the jet going to do for you, really? A lot. I you would... want to feel the pressure of the jet pushing yeah, you know, up against you? you see those tubs and they're like, here's a thousand jets. Don't you feel like you have enough pressure? No, I don't. You need more? I do. This water. is the good kind. And then I, the dermatologist will be like, how could you be in the bath for so long? I'll be like, well, look, my skin, it's dried out. Check out my skin. No, no, no. This is skin. That's not fabric. <laughs> no, I take. I need to lift up your shirt. I, need a I little did lift mo- up my shirt. I need a little moisture. A moisturizer. It's fine. All right. What I'm- do they say is so bad if you, if your natural oils have been stripped off your body? Dries you out. Dries you out. It makes you ancient. I'm dry anyway, so. Like you're 15, you look like you're 50. Well, we all. Because you've been in the tub for so long. And then your arms hurt because you've been texting and holding your phone for years. It's like your body just can't handle aging. I was holding my tablet in the bathtub the other day, and I just got really nauseated. And I think I was holding the tablet too close to my face. Really? Combined with the angle of my neck and the yeah, hot water. And I was like. Probably that. I got to get out now. I think I might fall down. But you're already sitting down. But it's cool. Oh, that that's a problem. Well, is there anything else we should worry about from the dermatologist? Or? No, well, I hate Because we don't go to the speech. dermatologist, so this is our trip. This is our time. This is our time. Yeah. So it's just telling you, you need to stop taking baths. And I say, you know what? I'm putting a window air conditioner in my bathroom. So I've got cold air and hot water in the same space. <laughs> that's exactly what you want. Living like the emperors of old. <laughs> You don't want to see what our bathrooms look like. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's nice. The riot. They hate me. They hate you. They hate us. Why else would they make us listen to the worst of the riot? Radio U. I'm sleepy. Aw. Well, yeah, you have good. a casual weekend of hardly anything to do, so you so should be, be fine. I got to go home and get rested up for prom. You have a prom tonight. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, let's get focused, Nikki. Let's you and me bring it in. Yes. Come on, you want to clap yes. it in? Do I, do I need to do that? Uh, I do want to say hi to Jerome. He decided to rub it in that he's at a Wawa this morning. Ooh, Jerome. Ah, oh, Wawas are amazing. Get a pretzel if they still have them. Uh, do you want a pretzel? Or the breakfast sandwiches? This early Any in of the, the morning? Yes, I do. Do you? It's not... It's not like a bag of pretzels. It's a hot pretzel. It's true. I... It's super big. They're delicious. They're so good. I always hated it because every time I'd go to a Wawa's, which is a gas station on mostly east coast near the, the water. United States, yeah, yeah, like all the way up down through Florida. Um, man, they were so good, but you had to get there early enough or they'd be sold out. And mm-hmm. they always had them in like the checkout counter area. I still, the last time I went, it's been a year might even be two years since i've been to a wawa and uh, i the one time we went and they had those amazing donuts and i chased all over florida looking for oh yeah no it's been it was last august september that i was in florida and i went to several wawas like surely they have the donuts surely no (laughs) another wawa with no donuts like why why are you even here the other side of that is though is that it was also a um like people getting ready for a hurricane, so people might have bought up all the donuts. That was the first to go. Because I mean, if you're going to ride out a hurricane, you might as well have some donuts. Well, right? Jerome, enjoy your Wawa. We are jealous. Thanks for rubbing it in. Also, want to say what's up to Dana. She's been texting us. Remember, you can text us anytime you want. And anything, se- anything you want. Eight seven seven two radio. You. She sent us a picture, Nikki. She got one of those bathtub things. The bath mats. We were talking earlier. I still want to get. Uh, I want a hot tub, but now I don't want a hot tub anymore outside. I want one of those indoor ones that are just basically a, a jetted bathtub mm-hmm. but like really tall walls <laughs> like it's like an Wait, it's like the medical want, like, one the kind old of person medical yeah, one because i don't have space for like a, a wide hot tub like you'd have outside so yeah. i think the only way for me to go is up well you know what i 
<laughs> I know those are, again, supposed to be like medical. I think they're for older people. I know, but my thought was, I'm kind of like you. It was like, man, so you're telling me a bathtub where I can sit up? And you oh, don't even I... have to, like, sit down to get in it. You just walk in and fill up the water. Sounds great. I think I like it to, does. I like to sit down. What if I lie to my insurance and, like, get them to think I'm older? <laughs> and then that way you can just try to play it off like they got to pay, pay for it. You that's know what, not what's going to happen. I, that's great. I always endorse lying Fraud. because when you lie, it always turns out <laughs> for the best. It always works out, doesn't it? It always turns Before out for the best. Before you know it, they've repossessed the tall bathtub thing and they've pulled it out of the wall. <laughs> But thank you so much, Dana, for sending the pics. Mm -hmm. Also saying hello to Tim. He texted in today. Uh, He said that when we were in the question of the morning, we were talking about Call of Duty, World at War, and the zombie mode. And he said he played countless hours killing hundreds of zombies. Oh, memories for him, right? Good memories because they announced the details on the new Call of Duty, which is coming out in the fall. Mm -hmm. So, and it may be the first Call of Duty. That I don't need to play. They don't have uh, no single player. No single player mode. Yeah, but the more zombies modes. So I will say sometimes the undead have it coming. They do. <laughs> and I need to be the one to give it to them. Don't think you feel the same guilt when it's in that mode. Certainly not. You remember that time you started your morning with a gas station breakfast sandwich and immediately regretted it? Yeah, it's like that. The Riot. Radio U. One of the greatest burdens that Nikki and I carry day-to-day, moment-to-moment, is the burden to spend the money that we're making. Oh, yes. Uh, Because when you make such exorbitant salaries, (laughs) you just find yourself weighed (laughs) down by the need to... It's like, I have so much money, money, I have to start spending Spending some of it. You do, you do. Um, Now, for those listening on the radio, you can't see it, but I'm going to send a wink your way, because that's sarcasm, just in case. Is it? Yes, just in case. Then why... Okay, if if that's sarcasm... Then why am I looking at Manhattan real estate right now? I think you're just looking to look. You You just want to see what it looks like. All right. Well, the thing is, like, there's so many high high profile condos and penthouses for sale in Manhattan. And I know you've been told before by your tax people that you've got to invest some money. Okay, you've got to start moving some of that money. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking at this. And here's one, and again, they all look the same just about, but like, here's one for $85 million, but they're throwing in a few perks that I like. Uh, you get two Rolls Royces, which I'm not really a fan of those cars, but, but we'll it communicates do. something. Yes, it, it matches the apartment. I want the plebes to know that something great has passed I'm by sorry, them. I'm sorry, is this that like a, is this an apartment in New York City or where? It is, but like it's, house? it's almost like a, a whole lifestyle purchase. I get the condo in Manhattan. I'll get a mansion in the Hamptons. Uh, there's a Lamborghini at the mansion. Um, You're I get, buying a life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corsade net seats. Uh, and then I got one other thing that I'm finally into. It is a uh, tickets to outer space. You get to go to space? Mm-hmm. But if I don't want that part, can I get money off of it? Or See, the thing is, they're trying to get people to buy it, so they they keep sweetening the deal. <laughs> they're just adding stuff. Uh, oh, you know what? You also get a yacht with it. and Ooh, the that do- sounds nice. Your dock fees are paid at the... The dock there for five years. Ooh, so that's a, that's a bonus. You're good. What's the lo- the yacht look like? Um, a boat. Well, like, is it a big one or I don't, I don't a know. manageable Wait. size, a small one or what? Oh, it's big. <laughs> it's big. It's about a. They say it's worth about a million dollars. How about we put in? If it's eighty five million, I feel like we're going to have to get a few investors in and share the items, the properties, and just focus. We can break them up and sell the items off. I mean, if you makes you feel any better about just the condo itself, uh, it's actually like I call it a condo, but they call it a ten bedroom penthouse. Sounds like, so nice, doesn't it? You know, what you need to look up, find out how much the monthly association oh, fees got a are. Pool table, we won't play. It must be crazy. They're like, yeah, you know, you're spending so much million on this place, and then it's like fifty, sixty, a hundred thousand dollars each month just to stay there. You know what? I, like looking at this, I just feel like this is probably. Like that cult we've been thinking about starting. Like, this is a perfect launching pad for that. Ten bedrooms. So, you know, you people move in with you. 
It's fine. It's no big deal. <laughs> we haven't been thinking that. Please don't make people confused. I guess you can't make that joke with the... Uh, yeah, it's all the, like... It's what, stuck. What's their faces in there? Okay. I don't think that okay. one works. All right. You know what? Uh, let's scratch that comment from the record. We're just going to look for a more... Let's start to do a starter property. I feel is like it, that is later down the road. Is it weird that I what's sound... What's we've embezzled more money? I mean, I sound like your mom when I'm like, 10 bedrooms? Who's going to clean it? That's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't I'm even, like, I have a bedroom. I don't want to clean that. <laughs> I don't want to add more to it. And then you got a house in the Hamptons. You got several cars. I don't like to clean my car out. So let alone all these uh, places to stay. In addition to that pool table, we won't use. And a yacht. There's also a tennis court that we won't play on. Well, I think that actually sounds fun. That'll get us outdoors. I do like the idea of getting a couple of tickets to uh, the space. Or space? It's, the, it's the Virgin Galactic tickets. No, thank you. You're out? I'm out. You can have both seats. Okay. So if I invest in this, I don't want that. I'm disappointed, but I'll all right. I'll take the Lamborghini. So you know what? Like, I don't know. Are we passing? I. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll think about it. I'll get back to you tomorrow. <laughs> I think we're passing. Wish the worst of the riot would never end. Everything that has a beginning has an end. What is wrong with you? Get our daily podcast through iTunes, Google Play, or the Radio U app. Coming up on Thursday. Okay. We've got our very first Riot Facebook live event, 9 p.m. on Thursday night. It's our very first game night. Uh, Obi, myself, and Hudson. <laughs> We are playing Ticket to Ride live on Facebook. So that's Thursday. Make sure you get ready for then. The train is leaving the station. So time to come aboard. It's time (laughs) to do this. We can't wait. I've never won a round of Ticket to Ride. I always lose. You always lose? Oh, yeah. Well, I just want to, again, I want to make sure, especially with Hudson, I don't think I even asked him if he's played it before, but I don't think so. Mm. But I want us to know the rules and stuff. You know what we should, this is what we should really do. We should... One lunchtime next week, we should sit down and figure out how to play it. Yeah. So that when we do when the we do game, play it, we, know. we actually know. That's what I want us to be comfortable with. I want us to know the rules. All right. Well, you know, send out that email. And if well, you... I sent out all the other emails. Why don't you do this one? Okay. Why don't I? That's interesting that you would say that because uh, we had lunch on Wednesday. Yeah. And there was an undercurrent. There was a tone. Uh, you guys notice, if you've been with us the whole morning, how no we tone. keep coming back to a tone that takes place at the lunch table? There's no tone at the lunch. But there, there is a tone, and I'm here to talk about it. And I don't want you belittling my feelings okay, like you please, do at lunch. Wait, um, here's, here's the talking stick. <laughs> I want to hold it. Okay, here's it's, the pin. It's my turn. Let me hear your talking stick. There was discussion that seemed to revolve around the fact that like, when I send out <laughs> invites to things, they're not detailed enough. I don't give enough details or about the there's thing. There's problems with the details. Or if I choose something, I obviously didn't choose the good one. Yeah. So we were supposed to have lunch at this restaurant, right? Some people were coming in from out of town. We were all going to meet at this restaurant. I say meet at this restaurant at this location yes. at this time. Yes. I did it right. You put it in the email that way. But I think you what? were sending something else out because even you thought you were going to a different restaurant. I did. I was confused, but that doesn't change the fact I think it was that felt. the email it was, felt. was correct. It was felt. So this and person... we went to the correct location. So this person goes to a different location. And I just want to say again, if we go back to the email, it was explicit. The only thing I didn't do was put a Google Maps link. You should have done that or you should have texted the person on the way just to double check. I think that's good no matter what. And that's not your fault. That's just you working a little bit ahead so that we didn't have to wait, which we did have to wait. An additional 30 to 45 minutes. It was a long time at lunch. But it's fun. At lunch is very long. Every minute at lunch is like an hour somewhere Every else. Every minute counts. Every minute that I've had to delay so eating. if you could have texted like you should have earlier and said, hey, they just were, to make sure. They were driving. So they can still check it just to make sure you're coming to this one and not the other one. We wouldn't have any problems. I thought the email was sufficient. It's never it's okay. never enough. All right. Did we just sing that song a few minutes ago? It's never enough. <laughs> I have not played that. never knives. enough. I'm not. I'm not. You're texting an email. Oh, no. Not oh, enough. Oh, wow.
Right? Yeah. So that is why. That's next on the I don't even remember what we were talking about. But the point is that, Nikki, that's why you're the one that has to send the emails. I don't want to. I don't want to have to be the grown up of the group. No, because when I'm the grown up, you're like, you're not grown up enough. You're not a good grown up. Let's make jokes about how you're not a good grown up. No, but we tend to have some some cracks in the ice. (laughs) So that's all we have. So why don't you be... And some people fall through. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I, like, so that's why I feel like it would be great if you'd go ahead and... And take care of it. Because, Nikki, you're a real get-things-done kind of person. <sighs> I hate that. <laughs> all right, I'll email Hudson and we'll set it up. But, Nikki, we're a team, okay? We're a team. So I'm going to show up and you do all the work and that's a team. That's a team. That's a team. That's a team. <laughs> It's great, right? <laughs> Flashback to every school project. It totally that's, works. That's a team right there. There was a, a an OB in every one of those projects. And you know what? If you guys think that I wasn't the one that did all the work on the school project, you actually don't know me. No, at all. it just you dropped that when you left school. You're like, well, I can't do that I anymore. Can't. I, I can't possibly. Look, I'm right, so just next saying. Thursday, you send the invite. Hudson's in. I can tell you what time he gets here. You tell me what day, and then if you can remind me that day, and also 30 minutes and 15 minutes before we start. Like, I'm some sort of uh, the repair person who has to call, like, 30 minutes beforehand? No, just my personal assistant. Yeah, okay. So that's Thursday. We will be playing Ticket to Ride for a special Riot show at 9 p.m. next Thursday at Radio U and Radio U Riot on our Facebook pages. You are listening to the worst of the riot. Today sucks. Radio U. I got to tell you right now, one of my favorite things about the CDC is that time and again, they gave me an excuse to use medical terms that make Nikki (laughs) uncomfortable. That you have to listen to. But, I mean... What are we going to do? They're the centers for disease control. Do you guys not want diseases to be controlled? Do you not want to know what's going on? <laughs> is this about the the romaine lettuce is good now? No, that's they not it. They gave it a Nikki. clear. It's not it. What is it time for us to start doing now that it's getting... I know what article this is. This is about the pool, isn't it? It is. This is about people dropping things off at the pool in the pool when they're not supposed to. Well, they say I drop something <laughs> off at the pool, but that's supposed to be a metaphor. It's, it's, but I don't know what people problem-wise are having, but uh, they worry about when it comes to summer pool season, it's it's not what you normally think you should be worried about because you think everybody's peeing in the pool. Right. It's not that. It's, it's so much worse. It's the other problem. They, the CDC has flat out come out and said, all right, they're just like, I love this. Please, if you have diarrhea, I don't, understand that. don't get in the pool. Understand that. Well, the part I don't understand about it is someone needing to be told. I don't know. Why do they? Why maybe, do we need to tell you? Maybe if someone's so sick, but it was your pool day and you were so excited, and you're like, "No, I'll be fine." Well, <laughs> I don't think I, you are. The great thing is, it's I will disgusting. I will tell you, we went to a pool where they had a, a code, it was, whatever it was a code brown or a brown alert or like whatever it was, and they pulled everybody out of the pool. And then we were like, we're done. We want our money back. We're like, we're leaving. And they were they were so mad at us. And it was like. That's not our problem. Let's be clear. We've been here for about five minutes. And we have toilets at home we can swim in. <laughs> so, like, we're just going to go home and take turns sticking our heads in the toilet. And we've got the whole experience for free. Bring the floaties. Woo! Hey! And I mean. Please don't use the word floaty. You're right. I mean, this was more meaning like the unicorn one. Okay, sure. But it's hard because, uh, I mean, yeah, you were in the right to ask for your money back with it. But in the pool, they're just going to add more chemicals. And then you just have to wait for it to kill it enough. I know. But, like, that's why it's one of those things where you're just better off not knowing. Going to the pool. It would have been better not knowing what had happened. You can't go anywhere. A lot of beaches have alerts if you're in a lake area. Why do we as people, we're like, hey, we're not it's, supposed to swim. it's water. I know what I'm doing in there. <laughs> I don't know, but. Stop. We're not supposed to. But, well, it's interesting. Like, the CDC is actually saying, look, even if, uh, you know, you're clean, don't get in the pool. Like, just don't. If you're sick, don't get in the pool. Because, basically, the water rinses stuff off of your skin. It stays in. <laughs> Wrong. I don't want to hear you talk anymore. <laughs> I should be able to leave during 
certain stories. I want to wait right outside the door while you tell this story. <laughs> Nikki's looking in from the window. Yeah, like, are you Is done? It, give I me a thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up when it's over. <laughs> okay, thumbs up when we're done. They're coming back because I don't want to hear this. Nikki, this is serious business. I don't care if it's medical. Do you know what's happening right now? People are getting sick. We are currently in the middle of a public service announcement. That's what's happening. That's what we are is. right now using the airwaves to spread a message of cleanliness and not spreading diseases. This is the most this is the this most is important. contribution we've made to society. I am all sorry then. Week. I'm really sorry that's the all best we got. I'm this sorry. is the best we've done. So again, they say, look, if you're sick, just don't get in the pool. And I'd just like to add, even if you're not that kind of sick, maybe you've got a runny nose. You could stay out. You don't have to get in. You know, you could just I don't feel well. I'll stay out of the pool where all of me is being washed over with water and then shared with everyone else. You know what the worst part about this is? I like going to the pool. I do, too. I love going to the pool. This is why people have private pools. This is, I mean, it's so nice just to swim and not have any worries. But then you have worries. Oh, I've got Because you don't realize what's going on in the water. You know what we need? We need our own pools. And like, man, then you have to clean our pools, and I'm sure be like, oh, I cleaned it last week, and like, you're creating some last, sort of disease thing week, you had no idea last week. <laughs> to clean up every I day, don't, I don't think you've met the average riot listener. To clean every day, we cleaned it last year. <laughs> yes, that's to be the problem. What? What's the issue? What's the big? Okay, so it's there's some pool, some leaves in it. Just pick the leaves <laughs> out. So I don't think we can handle green a pool. is the color of nature. I don't think we can. Ever wonder what Nikki is doing when she isn't rioting? Find her Twitter feed at riot.radiou.com. Obadiah's is there too, but who cares what he's doing? You know, sometimes I'm a little too honest in this room, but do you know, I don't think I know any other way to do this. (laughs) That's your style. Like, I don't think I know a way to give you guys 80% or, (laughs) you know, 85% and leave out some of the details. Like, I just... Well, you're coming with the stories with 100%, and and I think down the road we're going to appreciate that. Why not now? wish that we hadn't. (laughs) (laughs) One or the other. Either way. Right? So, here's the thing I'm thinking. We were talking earlier about the fact that... uh, Got a little details problem, all right? Uh, Leave some things out, Uh, important things. Don't share everything with the details. Because, you know, I have a It's a lot of times it's one of two things. It's one, I just assume everybody knows, so why waste their time in telling them? And that's not good because they don't know and they need me to tell them. Or two, I'm just moving too fast. And I'm not saying that as a compliment. I'm just saying as like, I just get it done, whatever. Uh, These are all uh, character traits. And it's funny, you got to find some middle ground. You got to find that place where you can look at it and go, I got something that I really need to get better at and I'm going to work at it, but I don't hate myself because Because of it, because of that. You got to find that space. And I want you to know that is actually a space that where God lives. Listen, God loves you and accepts you just as you are right now. There isn't a single thing that you can do that would make Jesus go 10% up. Right now, I now love you 10% more than I did yesterday because of this thing that you did. No, that's not even the way love works at all. It shouldn't even work that way with people, but here's the reality. You know, like, it's not going to happen. God loves you. He's not going to love you any more than now. And so you do something wrong. You make a mistake. It's like, you know what? God still loves you. But at the same time, God's not like, ah, whatever, (laughs) just do whatever. No, you know what? God knows that there's stuff we're not as good at, and there are things that we should work on. The reality of it is there's going to be things that I'll never be as good at as Nikki. Or uh, I got a few friends. Let's say they're athletes. <laughs> I, like, I seriously, I had a friend. Man, we went golfing one time. I'd golfed for like three years, and we went one time. They were better than me by the second hole. Like, and it was just, that was just what they could do. And it's one of those things where, hey, You can accept that there are some things you're not as good at, but then there are other things you're as good at, but God loves you anyway. Your shortcomings, he loves you. The places you're amazing, he loves you there too. You are loved as a complete person. And again, it's not just an excuse to be like, well, I do what I want. No, know that you're loved. And so that's actually a super comfortable place to live and to be able to improve and say like, hey, this is something I could do better. But it doesn't mean everyone hates me. It doesn't mean whatever. It just means I could do better at that. God loves you. And I don't care how you did yesterday. That doesn't change how God feels about you today. And that is where you can kind of grow from. 
If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you're, I, I really think you're missing out. I don't get bonus points if you say I'll do that, but I want you to have what I have, that relationship with God and say, Jesus, I want that. I want you to come into my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. And I just, I want to know what it feels like to be loved like that. Help me to understand it. And you know, that's something I'm still figuring out. But the great thing is, it's not a one-time thing. God wants to be with you every day, all the time. Having a bad day? Blame the riot. Everyone else does. And in fairness, it's probably their fault. Radio U. Now, I haven't put a whole lot of thought into what I want to do for my maternity shoot. (laughs) But. But, I mean, when the day comes, you've got to be prepared. I know, I know. And it's just like, I feel... As, you know, a future mom, I find myself not really sure if I even want to do a maternity shoot, but a lot of people really want to capture uh, yeah. what, you know, what they looked like uh, before about, baby arrived. You take the pictures when you're pregnant. Yeah. That's what, I mean, doesn't everybody know what a maternity shoot is? <laughs> Just making sure. Like, is that where a bunch of pregnant women get together with guns? That's not what we were talking about, but I, you know, I'd go to an event like that too. No problem. <laughs> But, like, here's a woman that I feel like, like, we're on the same page, me and Haley are. She's 28 years old, and uh, her little bun is due to come out of the oven on May 22nd. Sure. That's my mom's birthday. Oh, nice. Um, So, uh, she says that she wanted to pay tribute to and capture the spirit of her pregnancy. And she lives in Lynn Haven, Florida, and she says that without fail... Twice a week during her pregnancy, at a minimum, she has had to have Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's been her craving? She says that she has craved Chick-fil-A nuggets. And so her mater- maternity shoot is her eating Chick-fil-A. Oh, at Chick-fil-A? That's mm. cute. And so I don't know if it's actually at Chick-fil-A or not, but she has all like a Chick-fil-A bag, Chick-fil-A sauces, Chick-fil-A drink. You know, like when you wake up after a Saturday and you wake up Sunday morning and you haven't cleaned up your Chick-fil-A mess, that, but you're not pregnant. <laughs> even though your belly's looking a little... But you know, all uh, the let's, foods around. Let's call it a bump. Yeah, you got a, a bun. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nugget in the oven. Yes, you do. And so she has a little, uh, what do you put babies in? A crib? Nope. Uh, the, sh- the little shirt thing. A onesie. She's got a onesie. She's got a onesie. It says little nugget. Oh, cute. Because, like, the baby's a nugget because she's been making it fat the whole time, feeding it nuggets. And it grows That's up and it's like, processed food. All I want is a chicken <laughs> nugget. I don't understand. I don't understand how they can't quit it. And they're like, well, just to let you know, that's the only thing I ate when I had you. <laughs> I roll over at night and I just think about honey mustard, but I've never had honey mustard. <laughs> you have. Yes, you just didn't realize it. So that's just, I think that's a great idea. Or, you know what? Maybe it's just a great idea if we uh, had Chick-fil-A. slide on over and had some nuggets today. We went over the other day for we lunch. Did. Oh, and we Don't tell them. Well, why? What? I'm not telling that part of the story. Don't but now I feel them. like I need to. But no, I, I we realized we really wanted breakfast. I wanted, I like those little mini things. Oh, the, the chicken little mini honey, things. chicken mini biscuit honey. <sighs> I'll talk Maybe. about waking up days later after that. <laughs> I mean, that is something that can happen. What? I come in with those like, are you pregnant? No, I just want a chicken. I just want. Why's it got to be about pregnant? What? I just want the chicken biscuits. I just wanted some chicken. Oh, that sounds good. Nikki didn't like us in Chick Fil A because we were loud, and she felt like everybody knew Here, who we here's were. Here's the thing. All right, when the riot and when Radio U goes out, there is a chance you might notice who we are, and that's fine. I it's don't fine. have a problem with we that. We want to say hi to you. I love it. Sometimes people stare. That's a little awkward, but otherwise, we love when you come it's say fine. hi. Chick-fil-A, there's a greater percentage, percentage of, people. of someone at Chick-fil-A knowing who we are and or realizing who we are if we're talking. Yeah. When you get us together. It's, it's not quiet. It's not quiet. It's embarrassing. It's stupid. At sometimes I'll use yeah. that word. Oh, I mean, and if you listen to the show, you already know. I that. wanted to just go through the drive through so I didn't have people staring okay. and I didn't so, have the workers saying like, hey, is that is it you guys? And then us acting stupid and being 
being an embarrassment. So I didn't want that. She didn't, but she didn't tell us any of that. So when we got to Chick Fil A, she's like, we we, the she's like, we can just go in. And we get in there, <laughs> and we're sitting down and we're eating. And Michael says something that is intelligent, <laughs> insightful, and everybody was excited about it. And Nikki just put her head down and covered her face for a minute. And that's when I had the moment where I was like, oh, you didn't want us to eat inside because I'm you embarrassed didn't want of everybody. I am embarrassed of us. I am. <laughs> That's why she must have said 20 times, we can just go through the drive through <laughs> It's faster, and I didn't like it. We can just do five orders through the drive-thru. Everybody loves it when a car does that. I was going to pay for everything just because I didn't want to go inside. (laughs) I'm buying everybody lunch just so I don't have to be seen in public with you. Don't have to, because, again, a greater chance of someone recognizing all of us and being embarrassed there. Well, I like the way that makes me feel. This was the worst of the riots, and we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. The riot exists because Radio U exists, and Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. (laughs) You little pizza. (laughs) Look at you. Oh, yeah.